<laughs> Tyler is not awake. Are you excited to go on the nature tour? No. No, no nature tour? Oh, your foot, you're still limping. Is it hurting worse? No. Same in these are guides. Huh? These are guides. Uh, I didn't put them in here. Daddy did it. Someday you'll be wearing dad's shorts. Good morning. Da, da, da. How are you doing, my little sleepy boo? Go away. <laughs> Go I'm away. still sleeping. Are you excited to go on a nature tour? Uh, um, depends what's on the nature tour. Yeah, I'm, ex I'm uh, curious to find out myself. Hopefully it'll be some butterflies so you can chase them. Yeah. Yay. All right. Da -da. Get dressed. It's uh, the Davises, and we are on our way to the Jacksonville Arboretum. Uh, hopefully it'll be, I'm sure it'll be a great trip for everybody, and uh, we're gonna go check out some cool plants, flowers, trees, and uh, butterflies, and birds, and- Butterflies! Oh my God! What is it? Look. <gasps> it's a caterpillar. Can I touch him? Yeah, pick him up. I'm scared, hang on, let me cut my hand off. Yay! I got him. I'm scared to touch him, but I got him. You make a new friend? Yes. Thank you, Hawk. I love it when they do this. Oh, there's a hawk. It's a beautiful hawk. That. Oh, right there. Oh, there he goes. What did you think, yeah, you guys? Awesome. That was cool. I couldn't see him because there was a tree in the way. I was giving a tour here once, and a large mouth bass is right here, and he pulled his tail up out of the water. And I'm not usually one to squeal, but I screamed quite loud because I thought it was the alligator. <laughs> so now I always check for the bass. Stinking chainsaw. We're on a nature hike and they're buzzing chainsaws. Ugh. This this is a chainsaw's natural habitat. Duh, that's why. Or else would you need a chainsaw but then in a forest? Come on, think about it. <laughs> I want tadpoles again. Tadpoles. Can we see them? Let's look. I want tadpoles again. I can't see them. They're hiding from the camera. I see them, but I don't see them through the camera. Oh, there they go. There's like many tadpoles. Many tadpoles in the nature. So we just learned that uh, mango trees and cashew trees. cashew trees, if you touch them, they have like an oil on them, like on poison ivy, and people end up going to the hospital. So yeah, don't touch those. Very interesting information. Apparently, mango trees are popular in Hawaii, so when people move there, they don't realize that they have this poison, they climb them, and they go to the hospital. So, interesting facts. And um, in this trail, there's poison ivy on the side. Yes, lots of it, so we gotta be careful. When and we walk. you guys were standing on some earlier. Oh my gosh. Me and Kayla might have poison ivy now because we were actually standing on it and didn't realize. And we're in flip flops. I touched the fur. <laughs> and I learned. I'm crazy. <laughs> and I learned if, Cray -cray. Like, if uh, even if your clothes touch poison ivy, you still get itchy. It like goes through. Nope. Why would people want to hang out in this stuff? I think it's a lot safer in your house playing video games and watching TV. <laughs> Come out here and step on poison oak. Or we're, or something. That's we're crazy. roughing it. <laughs> poison, <laughs> roughing. poison ivy can kill you? I know. Yeah. Probably if you eat it. I bet you a long time ago when people were trying out different plants to see what they could eat, a lot of them died because they didn't know that they were eating something like, poisonous. You can have that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they watched their uh, neighbor fall over and die and they're like, oh yeah, let's not touch that plant. <laughs> yeah, let's see what he's got growing in this <laughs> garden. 
This is Spanish moss. The Spanish moss they used to use to um, stuff mattresses. And there was a great fire in 19, uh, 1901 in Jacksonville because the Spanish moss caught on fire and it burned a lot of this town down. It was really crazy. One thing that you missed on the tour there is that do not pick up the stuff off the ground because it's full of red ants and chiggers. So. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're only supposed to grab it help, out of the tree directly. So. Help me! <laughs> Connie is now infested with red ants and chiggers. Oh my! What are those? Red ants and chiggers? What are those? You know what red ants are. They bite. They're like fire ants and chiggers. Yeah, but I've been chiggers are little black dot like bugs and they burrow into your skin and you gotta dig them out. Did yeah, one dig they... into you? No, not yet. When I was a kid I got one on me. Did they kill you? I don't think so. I think they just cause infections if they stay in long, on your skin long enough. Chiggers, they aren't fun. I wanna go back home. I wonder if there's a Starbucks, a Starbucks near here. I think so. Uh, I need Starbucks. Now where are we going? Now we're going to the Jacksonville Farmer's Market. No, we're not. We're going to Starbucks. <laughs> okay, yeah, Starbucks, that's right. We gotta do that first. burns uh, symbols and letters on uh, wood. He's using the sunlight to burn this. sunlight. This great big reflector. Wait, sure not a cat. It looks like a cat. Not a squirrel. So he has like this guard right here. It gets so hot he, he has this guard so you don't stand in the way and get burned. It's pretty cool. So, poor Tyler here, uh, he injured his foot last year in football and we had to get him this like foot, this foot brace and somehow I guess in P.E. he... Uh, yeah, but it was hurting before P.E. too. Okay, well, more or less it, it, his heel is bothering him. So we got him in the brace again to try to help him out and I think it's because we got him some shoes. I don't know if, you're, if you know what like bands are. They don't have like a real cushiony sole. It's like real hard rubber. And I think that might be causing the problem. So we're gonna go to Target and we're gonna see if we can get him something that gives a little bit more support and a little bit more cushion when he's playing around because he uh, he's a boy, he's tough, he plays rough, and he gets hurt with his foot. So football season's coming up here pretty soon. We wanna make sure that he's in tip top shape. So we gotta make sure that we take good care of that foot. And um, let's go see if we can find him a cool pair of shoes. Kayla's running to the bathing suits. That looks familiar. Yeah, this one has blue instead of black, though. It's like, a, mine's a darker blue, that's lighter blue. Yeah. Ooh, this one's cute. That looks a little small. Yeah, I ain't gonna cover much. This one down here, what about that? Oh, look yeah. at this one. That's the one. So it's summertime and Kayla only has uh, one decent bathing suit, so we need to go See if we can find us at least one more. Any help with that, bud? Yes. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and push it forward and <laughs> that hurts. I heard that bad, huh? 
they feel comfortable because if I am, I'm feel I mean, if, if your foot's not cramped in there or anything? No. Feels good. So we're done. We got shoes for Ty, yay. Ooh, shoes for Ty. No bathing suit for Kaylee yet, though. Nope. She's still got one bathing suit. I have weird shape. Don't judge me. <laughs> Hopefully Ty's foot will be better in a couple days. Fingers. fingers crossed, yes. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Until next time. Bye. See you later. Bruh. Bruh. Bruh.